We could see gas prices rising soon if computer engineers and federal regulators can't get the Colonial Pipeline running within days. A cyber attack cut off the East Coast's main source of gas and other fuels. Yeah, the pipeline starts near Houston, and look how far it goes, carrying fuel to places like Atlanta, of course, here in Charlotte, through Washington, D.C., all the way up to New York City. Fox 46's Destiny McKeever is live with what we know this morning and what the shutdown could mean for the country. So as you just mentioned, and Wyatt and Jason, this is impacting a lot of different states along the East Coast. So we know that 12 different states specifically have been impacted by this, and gas prices may continue to increase. We are so far this morning seeing about a 1% increase in the gallon uh, of gas prices over the last couple of hours right now colonial provides more than 100 million gallons of gas and other fuel across the country Cybersecurity experts say the dark side group from russia is allegedly behind this whole incident and if colonial pipeline executives fail to gain control of the four mainline systems we could see an even greater increase in gas prices across those 12 states. This includes North Carolina, of course. Right now, regular gas in Charlotte averages $2.79 a gallon, which some say is too expensive. And, of course, we'll continue to follow the very latest. Coming up at 7.30, we'll tell you how experts say some specific groups in Russia could be responsible for this. Again, we'll have that all new coming up at 7.30. Reporting live this morning, I'm Destiny McKeever, Fox 46.